Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with J. Uh, I am uh, creating a, a video series about ASP.NET Core Web API and this is the part 4 video of this particular series. If you haven't uh, looked uh, uh, at the previous tip of part then I would highly recommend you to uh, do that. Uh, I, don't worry about the links, I will put that link in to the description of this video. So in this video we are going to check how we can update uh, the data or or we can delete the data with REST APIs. So before moving to that part, if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, Code with Jerry, then please do subscribe to my channel Code with Jerry. Here is the link for that. Uh, it gives me motivation to create uh, this kind of videos. So please do subscribe to my channel. So this is the uh, project uh, which we have created like this is a student controller and we have got uh, four, uh, four methods. Uh, one is uh, for like getting all the students, the another one is for getting student by ID and uh, this is the post method for adding the student. Now in this video we are going to create uh, a update method. So here you can be, see the swagger part like we have created three APIs and I already demonstrated in one of my videos that how we can create the swagger and how you can use that. So we are not going to go into details and if you wanted to see then please do visit my previous videos in this particular series. So let's directly start writing code. So here what we need to do is I'm going to write a put method or you can say update method and we are going to write from body student and student and this is the put uh, or update method so there is a ttp word called put there we are going to use that now if first we need to check like whether student is there or not so what, what i'm going to do is if uh, student is equal to now then we are going to say not found then that uh, is not supplied now then we are going to say check about the model validation which we have done for add also if the model state is not valid then we are going to say bad request and we are going to call into pass model state so it will return back with the 40 404 uh, error with the specific uh, validations error. Now we are going to get the student from our student API. So what we are going to do is uh, from the student contact, this is our entity framework context. So we are going to do students and first of all And then we are going to do a store student id equal to student the student id and we are going to change his name because otherwise it will create a problem now we are going to uh, tell that if the existing student is null then there is no such student in the database so we are going to again say not found done does not exist in the database and if it is there then we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to have this student class name equal to 
we don't go past me. So it's a uh, easy thing uh, for this. So whatever uh, we have passed in the student, we are going to have this. Okay, now we are done with that. So now what we need to do is put this in student contacts. We need to add page. Existing student. And we are going to say and it is some mark. Uh, what is the data type? Let me see. So we need to say Microsoft Authenticator uh, Core. Authenticity state dot modify. This is what we need to do, and then we need to write. Await and student context dot search in this essay. And we need to return the existing student. So this is the update API. So here let me give you once again what I have done. So basically what I have done if there is no student so student is null then uh, I have written back with the error that uh, like that particular student data is not supplied uh, then i have check uh, validations uh, if you forget uh, about the validations so then here you can see that i have written like our uh, first name and last name this must must be required then what i have done is like i have get a get a existing student from my existing uh, database and if that particular student is not found then like uh, we need to tell that whether this particular student is exist or not and then we can do something like this like uh, replacing all this data then what i have done is like this is the core part so what i have done is like i have attached existing student and I have changed uh, the state of that to modified and then I have changed save the uh, student into the database and then I am returning the treated particular student is like updated so let me see if there is any error okay so we are good on that part so let me refresh this okay so here you can see now we have got the put here. Now let me first run the ex uh, all the existing one. So this is the student data which we are going to use. Uh, let me put it in the not pad. Okay. Now now let me close this and open this one so what i am going to put here is this one okay so here you can see we have got three students and here you can see like there is a spelling mistake in my name okay but what I am going to do first is like I am going to put for to check like whether our validation works or not. So here you can see like so we are getting the answer that uh, like uh, this particular student is not existing in the student data. Now I am going to put one here because that it is what the student is there. And I'm going to 
correct my name and again execute that so here you can see uh, now my name is correct and it is written in the existing student now to check uh, that particular thing once again like whether a student is updated perfectly in the database we are going to run get all student again so here you can see like it is being updated okay so that is the update the api now uh, we are going to write the delete api so we are going to again do the same thing uh, sorry we need to write task And here we are going to have the student ID because we don't need to have all student object to delete it. And here what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to write ID and we are going to have a TTP delete. So first we are going to check I'm going to have this digger. So if ID is not null then what we are going to do is we are going to return with a not function ID is now supply. Then we are going to get this to the existing student from our student context. So we are going to write same thing. First of the call, then we are going to write the lambda expression. And we are going to check whether student is there or not. So we are going to check if it's null. And if student is null, then say no. student has a particular ID supply. Okay. And if student is there then what we are going to do is we are going to say student dot remove and we are going to write student and then we are going to say student context so save changes assumed and we are going to write okay that student is deleted. Cool. Now let's see whether this works or not. So let's see here everything is good or not. Okay, it's good. Now let me refresh it. So so here you can see like the student API is also ready. So basically, uh, let me again run this get all api oh, sorry get all student so here you can see we have got uh, them with id 1 2 and 3 so let me check the validation there so what i am going to put is or and see so here you can see like most then found with the particular id supplied so um, the validations and everything works great now I'm going to run one. So here you can see like student is deleted successfully. So this particular student is deleted from the database. Now let me run again this execute one. 
and here you can see now the student with id1 is gone so our data uh, our apis are working perfectly so that is what i wanted to demonstrate you with uh, this particular series that uh, like it is a it is very easy to write this particular uh, rest apis in sp.net core and you can write it in minimum code and like it in the interactive manner so i hope you like this particular series um, and so if you like this video then please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel uh, that is the url is there on screen and uh, it is bit.ly slash code with j so thank you again for watching this video i hope you like this video see you in the next video thank you